In the currency quadrant, take a look at the June Euro currency future, which hasn't moved much today. It was slightly lower, down about a tenth of a percent at 106.98 and a half. The low was down 11 basis points, so just slightly lower than a tenth of 1%. 106.97.5 was the low versus the settlement yesterday of 107.9.5, the high 107.10. We're going to call that unchanged, it's literally up one one hundredth of a percent, actually slightly less than that, slightly less than one one hundredth. So we're going to call that unchanged. But since the lows on May 13th, and this is as of the New York close, we're up on the euro over three percent. So there has been an overall basing pattern going on in the euro for about two weeks now. Now, tomorrow we have the ECB meeting. Today, we had GDP revisions, the third revision for the last quarter of GDP. And the quarter over quarter GDP came in at up six tenths of a percent. It was expected at up 0.3. The last reading was revised to only up 0.2. And year over year came in at up 5.4%, expected up 5.1. So when you look at that in the context of the ECB to meeting tomorrow, what the expectations are, most expectations for tomorrow are for the announcement of an end of the asset purchase plan and a target date for rate hikes, given that the ECB has said in past meetings and in past speeches that you have to end the asset purchase plan before you begin rate hikes. We haven't really seen that in the U.S., but that's what the ECB stance is. So we'll be looking to see if they change that stance at all. But most analysts are just expecting a target date for the end of asset purchases sooner rather than later, and then that will put forward a target date for the first rate hike, which we do know is coming. It'd be interesting that we got that strong GDP prior to the ECB meeting. Now, rising yields globally are a factor in what's going on with the euro as well. We've got two-year, I'm sorry, five-year, 10-year, 30-year in the U.S., all above 3% again. That last happened this past Monday, but prior to that was May 3rd. So we're back toward that level of 3% on the five-year, 10-year, and 30-year. 30 30-year's been up there for a while, but the 10 years at 301, five years at 302, and the German 10-year boom has gone from 1.125% on the 1st of June to 1.35% so far today. So global yields rising, especially in the EU and in the US.